We can talk about things, but not really sincere. What do you mean? Are you judging the intentions now? I know. I'm just making a point that you can have an argument with a person, and all you want to do is discredit them, but not really want to listen to another person. Are you judging the intention? I'm pressing it. No, if, you want to, if you want a question, you can ask me. But when you when you make a statement, then you're judging. That's what I just did. Why okay. What does the Bible say? Thou shalt not judge. Do you remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So once again, you're not following the Bible <laughs> or Jesus. The Bible says, you know, every time he says something, he goes against Jesus. Why is that? Anyway, can I explain what born again means? Yeah, yeah. Please do. I was, I was hoping you would do that before you started attacking my intention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or judging well, my intention. Well, I'm saying is we can have this argument and not really interesting communicating. No, no, look. Hard. What we are trying to establish here is that if Jesus says something, I want to know if that is of value to you. Because it seems like every time Jesus has made a statement, you either say this is well, difficult no, no, so you or are this is something. everything I say. That's what you're doing. No, no, I'm not attacking. No, I'm yeah, questioning. You are. you are. If you think questioning it is attacking, no, no, no. then that's, you no, have no, bigger no, no. problems than I thought you would do. How can, you, wait a minute. You don't how want can, to question, you want to attack. No, no. How that's is, why I said how is me asking? Sincere in what you say. Now you're getting you're not sincere. Now you're, now you're judging my intention again. Yes, sir, I am. Thou shalt not because, judge. No, no. Stick to what your Bible says. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Are you trying but to you don't want to love. You don't want to love Hitler. I can't love Hitler. He's dead. Oh, so if he was alive, you would love him. Uh, probably not. There you go. So you're not following Jesus again. No, no. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you know, look. look the reason the, the reason you're stuck can't in the corner again yeah, yeah, is because you you keep falling for the same trick every time. Catch me in words. That's what you're doing. No, it's Jesus who caught you, not me. No, you are. Jesus will not talk like you do. No, Jesus. I'm actually repeating the statement of Jesus. Yeah, but you love your enemy. Them. Do you understand them? You know what? Jesus, no, no. Do you understand? Jesus love said, your enemy. Do you understand that? Jesus said, unless you're born again, yeah, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Okay. In the Bible, in the Bible, it means if you're not born again, Hashim, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Okay. You don't. Know, when you say the you kingdom of God, you when, don't wait, wait. Know, when you say the kingdom of God, is that the kingdom of Jesus? You don't know what spiritual means. Is that you're the, not aware? Is that the a spiritual dimension to us that we're talking about? What the Bible is talking about? You know, you're the speaking to a Muslim, not an atheist. You, if you we, we know, God, we know about the spiritual world, and we know about the physical world. And in truth, look, you're speaking to a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. A Muslim knows spiritual world and the physical world, but and not an atheist. There is only fair enough. I know say you are. But you well, don't try to say you don't know about the spiritual world. What are you on about? Literal, and you said it's uh, metaphorical. Yeah. Nothing else. No, I didn't say nothing. I, I said about the sun. I'm saying. That I said about the sun. You still couldn't answer what kind of sun Jesus was. Oh, he's the son of God. What literal? What do you mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Listen, how can God have a son like you? Hi Peter, just, sorry, just wanted to change the scenery a bit. Much better background than the sign guy. Okay, so what I was saying is that if Jesus is not a biological son, what he, kind of a son was he? Biological means like you're the son of your father and mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of son, you know? No, he's not a biological okay, son. Okay, so what kind he, of son is he then? he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Conceived? Yeah. That is a very problematic word, you know? I know, because the only word we Unless he, unless he had sex finish, with Mary. Finish my sentence. Yes, please do, yeah. Gone. Conceived is the only word we have to express that have you have a human egg which is then connected with a, a human sperm, it brings in a human being. That's why I use the word conceived. Okay, the Bible, the Bible actually teaches uses... that Jesus was born in the Virgin Mary, but brought forth by the Holy Spirit. Okay, if, if, so in that if, respect, if the Holy Spirit is the father of Jesus, then who is the father? The father. But Jesus, if he was conceived well, by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit should be his father, right? If you listen to Jesus' words, you can find out who his father was. Don't he, you know? He, you're the one who told me he was conceived by the Holy Spirit, not by the Father. Yeah. So, who is the father of well, Jesus? That, that's why the Trinity is important, because the Trinity would explain there you go, that. the topic to Trinity now. No, no, no. When no, I'm no. asking what kind of son that's is Jesus, <laughs> he goes to the Trinity. Are you saying Jesus again, has three fathers now? Again. Or two fathers? Do you think you can capture God in logical things, words? Uh, hold on, hold on. If you cannot understand God logically, then why do you claim that he died for you? Because it happened. It's a historical fact. You know what historical fact means? Well, it, it depends who is saying it. It means it is attested by extra non-scriptural sources. Really? Can you name me any one eyewitness? Josephus.
Did he it witness it? Man. Did he witness it? Who had a beard? It was <laughs> Who had a beard? Miracles. And he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he had a beard and he cut. Wait, Josephus did not see Jesus in his life. What are you on about? Well, do you know that? Do you know, by the way? Did you know that? Did, did Mohammed see oh, he Jesus? Just, he just found out. <laughs> Josephus never saw Jesus in his life. Doesn't mean he's not telling the truth. No, it means he's not an eyewitness account. So? So if he's not an eyewitness account, how can you rely on it? Well, why don't you rely on Matthew, John? Mark, Peter, why don't you rely on him? Where is the first century manuscripts of either, any one of those? None of them. You have no manuscripts, zero, big zero, from the first hundred years after Jesus. There are over 20,000 manuscripts. And none of them are from hundred years after Jesus. Uh, <laughs> All of them are much this, later. This is true. Sorry, the first true. one you were saying, go on. The first one is about 93 AD. No, it's not. Which is a small section yeah. of the Gospel I know what it's called. It's called P52. Yeah, it's in Manchester. In, it's in uh, John Ryland's yeah. library in yeah. Manchester. You know your you know, very well. You know how old that is? About 93. No, it's a, it's a late second century. That, no, no, Late no, no. second century. It's okay. been... Okay. <laughs> okay, so you do I your listen, homework I listen and to then come and tell... Yeah. Which you expert? To expert? Which expert did you listen to? No, Name no, me no. one. You don't know them. No, no, That's because you haven't researched it. Because you've done your homework better than me. So, I agree so don't that. don't disagree then. Go to your homework no, and no. then disagree. Because right now, no, when no, you no. have the P52, which is either the late second century, some of them say no, the middle sec uh, second century, some of say late second okay. century, the important thing is that it's still more than 100 years after Jesus. So from the first yeah, yeah. 100 years after Jesus, you have zero manuscripts. But, but you know, how, how old was John? John the Apostle, when he died, he was probably 90 years years old? It doesn't matter. Yeah, the yeah, Synoptic yeah. Gospels because don't agree with it. John. He wrote it. Why do the Synoptic Gospels don't agree with John? All of them, John's accounts are so different see, to that of the Synoptics <laughs> that yeah, yeah. they had to actually classify them differently, you know? John was classified separate from the Synoptics. The Synoptics are Mark, Matthew, Luke. The reason they are called Synoptic yeah. is because they're so similar. Yeah. Unlike John, which is high Christology, so there are a lot of bits added in there. And yeah, that is the reason, well. that is the reason, good. that is the reason you you still have to rely on a much later gospel compared to the Mark, Matthew, Luke. Yeah, the reason for that is because you. The Quran? Yeah. Why are you changing the topic every time you get stuck well, with the Bible? You, you attacked the Bible. I didn't attack. I questioned it. No, I critiqued it. It's called criticizing. Okay, critique. It's yeah. called. Okay, you need to really understand the difference between I critiquing and attacking it unnecessarily. Can you? Can you I have a critique for you as well. Go on. What, you, have you, what do you know about the Quran? Can you prove that Mecca existed in the seventh century? Yes. Show me. Because we have the Quran from. You rely on the Quran. Yeah, but the Quran is from the seventh century. After the Quran is from many, the Quran many, is from the from, from, from the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. How many manuscripts did Uthman destroy? Yeah. How many? Oh, you're talking about the manuscripts which are not the Quran? Yes, many. How many? But we have... How many? It doesn't matter. Well, 65,000. Where do you get that number from? I'm just putting it out of my head. You haven't Thousands. done your own work about the Bible. Do you expect me to believe you about the Quran? Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, I do. No, you don't know anything about the Quran. You know, there's a difference between what the manuscripts we have, which we call the Quran today. Yes? Yeah. And something which Uthman destroyed, which was not to do with the only Quran manuscript. He destroyed many things which had things other than the Quran written on it as well. That's what he decided then. Eh? Yeah, so that's why he, so how what he did he was, was right? he standardized the Quran. How do you know he in, was right? Because we still have those manuscripts today. But how do you know he was right to destroy all these other thousands and thousands of little manuscripts? The reason for that is how because... Do you know, no, how do you know well, he was right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they set up a council. The council included the scribes of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How can you account? I, I still haven't destroy finished. Them? I still haven't finished. Okay, sorry. I, I, I'm doing the same with you. No, but you need okay. to, if you want to learn, yes, I do. then you need to stop interrupting. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uthman set up a council. By the way, Uthman studied under the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he himself knew the Quran. Mm -hmm. Yes, so he had memorized the Quran, just like all the other yeah, major yeah, companions. Very good. So he, even if he did not have any of the manuscript, he could recite it from memory. Yeah. Similar to many of the other companions. Do, yeah. Do you know anyone who memorized the Bible? Uh, no, I don't. Exactly my point. Okay, so we, for us, manuscript evidence is a secondary. That doesn't make something true or false, by the way. Well, it does actually. If you, if there are hundreds oh, no. and the fact thousands, that if there are hundreds and a lot of things. No, no, no. Right. If there are hundreds and thousands of people who have memorized the same thing, then we can easily recreate the Quran, even if you destroy all the manuscripts. Yeah, yeah. But you cannot do that. 
Because no, you rely on manuscripts. Yes. And even your manuscripts are from the 4th century and beyond. 4th uh, century, are you sure? Yeah, the majority of your Bible is I from the 4th century. the Sinaiticus and uh, Alexandrian. Yeah, that's a complete, yeah, yeah. That's a complete yeah. Bible that you have, which has yes. been preserved. The earliest yes. preservation is what? from the 4th century. Well, what happens if they find this very uh, Ryland manuscript that tallies, means it's exactly the same as the one they find it's in not. the 4th century? It's not. I'll tell you why. The reason for that is because you have extra books in the Vaticanus and the Sinaiticus. You have the Shepherd of Hermes and the Epistle of Barnabas. Yeah. Two extra books from your canonical Bible. They are not, they don't accept There you go. So even your earliest Bibles are unreliable. So now let's move on to the Quran, which you wanted to allude to earlier. So yes, Uthman set up a council in which he had people who had memorized the Quran other than just himself. He has Zaid bin Thabit, who was actually the personal scribe of the Prophet ﷺ, who used to tell him, dictate to him to write down the Quran and to memorize it obviously at the same time. So we have the very people who had compiled the Quran in the early stages of Prophet Muhammad's life. And the so, sorry, of the, of the revelation. Uh, how long was after This was 20 years, less than 20 years of the Prophet Muhammad so that's 650. Uh, yeah, 632. Sorry, Six, 570. Six, 632. Yeah, yeah, 632. Yeah. So about 20 years, 20 years max. Yes, we have in the Birmingham University yeah, yeah. the manuscript, the Birmingham manuscript, mm -hmm. which has been carbon dated to the time of Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. Yes. So we have scientific evidence right. for earliest manuscripts of the Quran, you have zero from the first century of, the, of, of Jesus' time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have manuscripts from the time of Prophet yeah. Muhammad But you know what we have? We have lots. You know what we have? What do you have? We have historical evidence that the places that the Bible talks about existed. You don't. Places? Of course we have places. Mecca didn't exist we have places in the seventh century. In the, in the Quran, it talks about Egypt. It talks about Mecca. It talks about Medina. Mecca did not exist in the seventh century. Who told you that? Again, you know, there's something in English called little knowledge is dangerous. You're yeah, yeah, treading that, you, you're treading a, a No, wait a minute. For me to, before you prove it to me, you made a claim. So you t show me who told you that Mecca didn't exist. You can go to the maps for the seventh century. No Mecca on the map. Which map did you see? Name me one map. Let's see. Let's see if you know if you've done his homework or he's just waffling as usual. No, no, I'm not waffling. So give me a name of a map. You haven't done any research, have you? I've seen the maps. That's which, all I can say. Where did you see the map? Online. On a Christian website? Yeah. Obviously. I've also seen a map. <laughs> two maps. Obviously. But have you seen have you seen a map from the seventh century? For you for, for you for you to say a map. Imagine this. If if in the seventh century there was a map which didn't have America on it, does that mean America didn't exist? But it didn't exist as it was then, did it? It doesn't matter, does it mean America didn't exist? If there is no America on a map. Well, that, is a, that is really, uh, what, do you, what do I say, this is called silly arguments that you bring up in order to tell us that Mecca didn't exist. If you really want to know about Mecca, go and find out from the historical records that we do have, okay? We have in Mecca and in Medina, you know, the, the routes that go to pilgrimage, we have inscriptions on rocks from that time and even before that, telling about Mecca and about... And about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and about the companions and about passages of the Quran which have all been inscribed on rocks which have today been dated to the time of Muhammad and even beyond because some of them had written about it before that as well. So this is the evidence from the historical perspective in addition to the Quran itself which we have a lot of manuscripts which to go back to unlike your Bible. So you have no record of Jesus being the God. You have no record of the sun being literal sun or metaphorical sun or what, whatever sun it is. You, these things you have to really answer. These are the well, these are the I bases of your religion. I can you imagine that? Yeah? And you know earlier when I asked you, can you be saved without the crucifixion or without a human sacrifice? And your answer was? Yes, you cannot be saved you? except by the blood of Jesus. Okay. Yep. Why does your God demand blood for you to be saved? Because God is righteous. If God is righteous and merciful, why does he need the blood of an innocent man? Righteous. You know what righteous mean? Yeah, right. Righteous doesn't murder anyone innocent. But righteous means if, if I steal 10 pounds, you get to give 10 pounds back to me. That's not righteous. Where do you get that from? <laughs> that means what are you on about? Uh, no, 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 hold on. You're talking, if you're talking about being just, that's different. Righteous yeah. is different from right, just. Obviously, a righteous person has to be just. But the question to you is, do you believe in mercy and forgiveness of God? I do. Okay. 
Is your God merciful enough to forgive you without bloodshed? He can't. There you go. You see, you put a condition on God by saying he can't. No, it's just... My God has no such limitations like no. yours. Because no. Allah is our Rahman, our Rahim. Yes? He's the most merciful, the compassionate, is it, the benevolent. Is that why you're so merciful to people uh, who are killed all over the world because they don't want to renounce Jesus? Oh, you mean the Crusades? They did it in the name of Jesus? That's a long time ago. What about today? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about today? Why don't you go and look at the KK? how they still lynch people of color. Is the KKK, are they, are they Christians? Well, they claim to be. In fact, they use the Bible to justify what, what they're doing. ISIS? What about ISIS? They're no different to the KKK. Are they, are they real Islam, ISIS? Well, if they go against Islam, how can you call them abiding by the prophets? No. Uh, what do you say? The path, are the they, sunnah of the Prophet They, really ISIS? Are they, really they don't actually. They oppose many things from Islam. For like example, in, in Islam, we are told not to take the life of anyone without a just cause. Like the way you believe, the only way you can be saved is to take the life of a just man like Jesus. Yeah. You know, Allah tells us in the Quran not to do that. So but for you, that is your doctrine. Without that, you cannot be saved. Okay. So you are no different to ISIS who, who also murder innocent people. No, do, do you think that Jesus was is, is different. What do you the think Quran says is the... What do you believe Jesus was innocent? No, no. The, what the Quran says is innocent and how it defines... No, no. Do you believe Jesus was innocent? What the well, if you're going to yes. jump in the middle of the yes. conversation, Answer the question, otherwise yes. don't. If he wasn't intervene. innocent, he could not be raised from the dead. Okay, so you believe an innocent person has to die? That's what God wanted him to do, yes. How is that just? Tell me. It's not just. Okay, so your God is unjust. But it's merciful. And the horse's mouth. No, no, no. Because You just said it's not just. It's not just, it's merciful. How is killing an innocent man merciful? Are you out of your mind? No, you are out of your mind. Well, he's, 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 we he's blaming the ISIS and KKK. Now he's talking like them. We need killing them. innocent man <laughs> is something which Islam opposes. Yes? We do not believe that. Chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 32, clearly says this. No, yeah. Anyone who kills an innocent man but, but without a just cause is as if they have killed all of mankind. No, no, it yes, and that's very clear in the Quran. Only believers. Only refers to believers. No, it doesn't say believers. It does. Only read 532, Surah I, I, I challenge you right now that you haven't read it. Open ch open Quran, chapter 5, 30, verse 32, and you'll see it. You kill one man, you kill one Oh, he's back, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's come here. Allah Akbar! But you know, I'm getting tired. What's that? I'm getting tired. You're getting tired. Anyway, I appreciate your no, time, you Peter. You, you have been a gentleman. You too. I just hope I that you will... Homework. I just hope, not, not only do your homework, to Sorry. search and to seek with sincerity. Just like the way you yeah, told me earlier. I am. We should, we should learn and we should seek knowledge yeah. with sincerity. Yeah. So go home and try to understand why does God require human sacrifice or human blood? This is something, you know, like the, which is, which we find in the pagans. Mm -hmm. This used to be the hallmark of the pagans, you know? Yeah. They used to, for them, just asking God was not enough. They had yeah. to physically sacrifice an animal or a human. But in fact, you know, I make the decision yeah. that although it sounds abhorrent to my thinking, the Bible tells that there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. It's okay. I accept that. Sorry? I, understand. I accept that although yeah. it's not easy for our minds to understand. Come here, come here. If the Bible says there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood, which is in the Old Testament, as you probably know. It's in the New Testament, actually. Uh, no, no, it's in the Old Testament. <laughs> Leviticus. It's in, it's in Hebrews Just, chapter 9, yeah, yeah. verse 22. So yeah, yeah. it's in the New Testament. But it's also in the Old Testament. Yeah, it is. Without but in the Old Testament, there was no human sacrifice. No, there were lambs. Exactly. No human sacrifice. No lamb. Human sacrifice is something God said we wouldn't even uh, come to his uh, thought. It, it wouldn't cross his mind even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for you, the most innocent person that I know of from history is Jesus. Yes. But you're saying that this was a planned crucifixion, that your God planned it. Yes. Yes. And he, he actually handed a plan. It says, can I even, the Bible says he was crucified before 
the foundation of the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was planned. Yeah. But why do you consider, which you have already acknowledged as being unjust, that God would actually, it's, God would consider so, uh, something which is unjust to be your doctrinal, but what I, do you say, I, I, to I be believe, your doctrine? I believe, I understand, God did us to show us His mercy. No, but mercy to me doesn't mean killing an innocent man. That is what? That, that is the antithesis of mercy. That is the opposite of mercy. Uh, okay, you, you know this. Come on, you know this. God has given you and me both a mind to understand and yes. to ponder on yes. things. Yes. But for you, because you have already said this is unjust, but for you, there's no way out that this is the injustice that you have to believe in in order for you to be saved. For me, we believe that God is most merciful. You know, if you, 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 you alluded to the Old Testament many times. And generally speaking, when I get from Muslims, they are not very merciful. Oh, but you're, you're judging mercy based on some, based some, on some CNN, preach. BBC. Oh, really? Kill, da, 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 so, da. so if I were to tell you that I got the knowledge about Christianity only from reading the accounts of the Crusaders, what would you say? Uh, you probably have a, not a very good idea about Christianity. Yeah. There you go. So, I, I suppose that you would do the same thing. Do not look at the fringe elements elements among the Muslims, mm -hmm. look at the Quran and the Sunnah and see how Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu led his life. For example, he had the power and the ability to wipe out the Meccan Quraysh who oppressed him and his companions and killed many of them, right. persecuted them and tortured them. Yet when he came with an army of 10,000 as victorious when he took over Mecca and conquered it without bloodshed, mm -hmm. yes, he had every opportunity and every right yeah. to take revenge but he did not no. instead of revenge he saved that right. and he said by he, he basically forgave them and this is something that the Meccan Quraysh was shocked because they did not this was not normal no, in no, that no. time so Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu from his life we know he came as Rahmatul Alameen and many people translate this as mercy to mankind no the term that is Alameen means all of existence all universe yes he's a Rahma he's a mercy to all of uh, the universe and this is something that we learn from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not some Christian uh, uh, polemic uh, uh, polemicists or some hateful people who teach about Islam in the wrong way look at it objectively my friend yeah. have you read the Quran any time in your life I started reading it that's good if you if you want I can give you a free copy of the Quran okay do that okay we'll do that inshallah right after this in English yeah. yes yes of course in English and it's very important that you actually learn about the story and the, what do you say the background of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how he actually led his life yeah. rather than listening to all this hate preaching from the non-Muslims um, who talk against I wouldn't Prophet call it Muhammad. Hate, so I just well, it is. When you talk about critiquing, when, critiquing. When you, when, no, no, when you talk about things which are out of context, that is not critiquing. That is you showing, that is some kind of propaganda. I was trying, I was trying to talk about historical yeah. information. So we, we, we got something which is the biography of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let me see if I can But you seem like a person who's got an open mind who's, and who, who would look objectively. So yeah, I mean, you know, why don't we do that? I've done this for the Bible. So if I give you references, I make sure I give you the context as well. Yes? So inshallah, thank you very much for your time. You too. And uh, look forward to speaking to you again. Take care, mate. Yeah. Okay. Jazakallah khairan. Time for Maghrib, guys. Keep us in your duas and don't forget to subscribe, share and like the Dawah Channel. Assalamu alaikum.